And we're back, YouTube. Thank you for tuning in. As always, I appreciate that. Um, I want to apologize for my voice. Uh, I'm having a cold, but bear with me. There's something important I would like to share with you. I want to get something off my chest. Recently, I saw a video uh, made by The Quartering. This guy, Jeremy, made a video <coughs> about Zoe Quinn. And I'm usually not into the YouTube drama at all. You know, let's talk about games and our hobby. That's what I think. <coughs> but Zoe Quinn turns out is a uh, well-known, let's just say it, uh, well-known indie developer. Has been around. I think she's uh, like a feminist uh, also. And according to Jeremy of the Quartering, she accused a indie developer of uh, harassment. I'm not sure what kind, but you might might be the sexual one. And <laughs> the next thing that happened is that that specific programmer who co-produced a game called I think In the Woods. I've not played that game, but. He co-developed that, and he committed suicide. Uh, I, I do believe that he also was kicked out of uh, out of the studio he was working for, but he committed suicide. Now, <clears throat> whether or not there is a connection is debatable, but this Zoe Quinn person accused this guy, uh, called him by the name on social media and Twitter, I believe. And I believe that's a bad thing. And Jeremy points out in his video that he also thinks that uh, that sucks. That's not a good way of dealing with a Me Too situation. And I retweeted his tweet with the video and I commented on it. And I'll show you. Um, it's a tweet that's the most like the most shared and liked tweets I've ever posted, which sort of blew me away and it really made me think that I should address this uh, issue. It's not just another YouTube drama. Uh, because I believe that if you are harassed in your life, that can be a trauma. People can walk around with such a thing, not telling anyone for years and here comes this phenomenon on, on social media, it's called Me Too. We've seen it in the movie industry and other industries and also now in the gaming industry where people come forward and accuse other people, even Jeremy Shore, I believe, who, who did the uh, score for Skyrim and other games, was accused of harassment. And there's so many news, um, like articles right now about this it seems like sort of spreading all around and I believe that's a bad thing I think that yes you should talk about the situation that you've experienced but not go on Twitter to accuse a person that is just not good why because well first of all there are two perspectives usually here Let's just say boy meets girl. Boys, boy wants to kiss a girl. He comes on very strong. Girl doesn't want that. She's, he's groping her and she's, she's resisting. Now for her, this might be very well be a, a Me Too situation. For the boy, it might be a failed attempt to seduce her. Okay. What I'm trying to say is that there is a fine line between, let's say socially accepted behavior and unacceptable criminal behavior and the only person who can determine one from the other is a judge in court and that's why i think that anyone who has been harassed after talking to a friend should go to the authorities and not go on twitter and accuse a person of these deeds that might not be true or cannot be proven in a court of law. Because if you do share those things on Twitter or social media, the consequences can be very big. Not, not just for the person who is accused, because he can lose his job, 
and his friends and, and whatnot, his social standing, but also for the one who's accusing other people without any proof or witnesses or whatnot. I mean, what are you worth if you're just accusing somebody and you're not taking any action? You're not going to the police. Um, you know, it doesn't make sense to do that. Then it, then it, it's just sort of a vendetta uh, action you're, you're doing on social media. So that's the point I'm trying to make, and I guess a lot of people agree with that. And just don't spread lies or false accusations, or even accusations that might be very well be true in your opinion, might not stand in a court of law. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys. Um, at the background, by the way, I'm playing Age of Wonders 3, so expect a review of that as soon as possible. And uh, I'm enjoying that game so much. You know, I've not played any of these games in, in this series, but it's just... Uh, recently they released uh, Planet Fall. It seems to be sort of a similar game, but back on topic, that's what I think of the whole Me Too situation. It should die out now. Uh, I think it's very well accepted nowadays to go to the, uh, the authorities and just talk about your experiences. And whether or not the police or any other <laughs> the services can do anything for you, it's up to them. You know, it's not up to you to accuse uh, people that might not have committed any crimes. That's it. Thank you guys for watching. And see you next time.